Hello everybody, My, this is Direct Minecraft back with another video. Today, I keep getting lots and lots of comments about making part three of Bikini Bottom Mysteries. I'm sick of seeing them. I mean, I get it. it they're out. Like, it, it's out, finally done. It's just really, un I mean, one person specifically wanted this and I keep getting notifications on my phone. So, I'm just going to do it just to make him stop. Anyway, on with the video. This is part three, also known as episodes eight through ten will now be played. All right, let's go ahead and react for one last time. Let's go for it. And I'll play it. Throughout the history of Bikini Bottom, researchers have been baffled by one simple question. Hello! Who is Old Man Jenkins? Old Man Jenkins. This is Bikini Bottom Mysteries. At first glance, the evidence huh? seems clear. Don't you want to kiss the seat of my pants? Old Man Jenkins is a former farmer turned sailor. I'm glad I gave up farming. Turned cannonball. Uh, I'll be honest. I but upon further I'll be honest. Like, all, I mean, Old Man Jenkins... I've actually seen a lot of Spongebob episodes, and I, for one, like, there's, like, a bunch of them. And, like, that is just, wow. I mean, how many Old Man Jenkins can there be in this, in this series, out of all of them? Investigation, only one thing is clear. Nothing is as it seems. Exhibit A, Body Doubles. We set out to investigate Old Man Jenkins, but our investigation led us to five different fish, all claiming to be Old Man Jenkins. You cut a hole in Farmer Jenkins' That's grape one. silo! That's it! That's right. Five different files. Old Man Jenkins! I have no idea. On five different old men. It's Old Man Jenkins in his jalopy. Howdy, Mrs. K! Each with evidence that he is the true Old Man Jenkins. You ain't Whoa. Old Man Jenkins! What did I do? Yeah. Well, How did we get out of it? Old Man Jenkins! So which one is the real Old Man Jenkins? And more importantly, why do they all claim to be Old Man Jenkins? Well, further investigation um. revealed more than we could have ever imagined. Exhibit B, suspicious behavior. Watch the following scene closely. Notice one version of Old Man Jenkins casually floating in the Krusty Krab just Whoa. before the customers leave so crabs can be alone to protect the secret formula all night. But maybe he wasn't as alone as he thought. I'll be waiting for him. <laughs> Take a closer That's look. Creepy. Old Man Jenkins never actually left the Krusty Krab. Instead, he could have been lurking in the shadows all night. And Krabs was none the wiser. I'll be waiting right here. He's and not. that's not the only case of breaking and entering. When Plankton tried to steal the formula, this old man Jenkins was even caught inside a police evidence locker. Hello! How is old man and Jenkins he wasn't evidence? the only old man Jenkins. Hello! What are two men with the same identity doing on the inside of the same police evidence locker? Are they the evidence? Who's been pinching all these kids? Or are they trying to destroy some sort of evidence? And if these two are working together, is it possible that all the old man Jenkinses are working together? Wait, wouldn't that make an a elite six? team of old man of Jenkinses that? working in the shadows of restaurants and police stations? Only one but why? Like what are they hiding? Two of them. I'm okay. Exhibit C, immortality. Let's what? go back in time. To a time where Eugene Krabs and Sheldon oh, Plankton sorry, were just young part. lads working on the original if, secret if formula. Well, that's a handsome-looking burger. You said it, old chum. Who was there to taste the first attempt at a recipe? Old man Jenkins. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go back even further. <laughs> he killed further. him. When he Krabs killed found him. his they first penny, who was lurking just behind him? Old man jenkins um, and back even further when young crabs and plankton went to school and first learned about formulas who was their yeah. teacher old 
Man um, Jenkins. I don't think so. Three versions of Old Man Jenkins, each spotted in the distant past. But if this is the distant past, shouldn't they be much younger? Instead, each version looks exactly as old in the past as they do in the present. Abandoned ship! That's Abandoned not. ship! Let's recap. One was hiding in the Krusty Krab when Krabs was protecting the secret formula. Two were in this evidence locker when Plankton tried to steal the secret formula. And three were in the distant past when Krabs and Plankton were first coming up with the secret formula. So who are these five men known as Old Man Jenkins? What do they want with the secret formula? And how do they never age? Do they have their own formula? A formula for immortality. I thought this was a restaurant, not a gutter mouth convention. <laughs> That's we nice. may never know the secrets of this strange faction, but one thing's for sure. Oh, they're okay. really, really yeah. old. And now, a Bikini nice. Bottom bonus, Ooh, mystery. A bonus mystery. A Krabby Patty is supposedly the most delicious sandwich under the sea. The only people who don't like a Krabby Patty have never tasted one. But if it's under the how sea, do how do they get those barrels to begin Onions with? Onions or lettuce. All foods that are usually found on dry land. But lettuce, cheese, onions, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and top bun together in that order. File this one under C for classified. Oh, and because it's under the sea, see what I did there? Because it's filed under sea. Hilarious. <clears throat> yeah. Have you seen something strange under the sea? Leave us There's a comment and tune in next time, time, for time for more investigations that will blow your pores, strip your scales, yeah, and flip your fins. Like, subscribe, and if, remember, if, if the, the pineapple, pineapple fits, let it in. Heard all that. Let's watch this. Yeah. Right. Love all things SpongeBob. Oh. Like and comment. Dang. Below. And don't forget to subscribe uh. and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video here. Let's just check out episode. Oh come on, seriously, ads. Hey, check oh, out what the heck. Nacho Ranch and Honey Barbecue. Sorry about the ads, people. I really just out. don't want to go time. through all this. <laughs> Wait, so I should still be able to you know hear you guys the ads. Are have to pay for that. New goldfish, epic crunch, crunch that packs a punch. Strange behavior. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Just saying, guys. If if I get um, if I get like problems with this, hey, just so you know, um, yeah, just just back me up here and just ignore the commercials. Like, just go 15 seconds into the future. All right, let's continue. Suspicious activity and a fierce passion for chocolate. This is what? Bikini Bottom Mysteries. Meet Tom, a local Tom. movie star. That's it's his name. Real John. This isn't my real hair. With a tragic history of butt injuries. Oh man, it itches. But under his perfect hair and behind those oddly yellow eyes, something's not quite right about Tom. Chocolate! Exhibit A, chocolate. Tom's best known for his intense emotional breakdown at the very mention of chocolate. Did you say chocolate? That's the nice. breakdown so extreme. Yes, chocolate! That guy's a It scared maniac. the barnacles. Chocolate! Out of these two anonymous salesmen. And Sponge, <clears throat> I mean, one of our sources, claims that chocolate isn't the only food that sets Tom off. Here we see him flipping out over his diet doctor kelp. How am I supposed to eat this pizza without my drink? And why is he suddenly orange? Here he's losing his temper over tiny details. You asked for a couple of ice cubes in your drink, and I only put in one! You what? Or and you could have just put in absolutely none. Salad? It took us three days to make that potato salad. Three days! Three days! Well, Tom, we did extensive research on dozens of potato salad recipes, only to find that not one of them takes three days. No, something's just not right about Tom. Now that I've got you right yeah. where I want you, I'd like to buy all your chocolate. Which where, brings us to exhibit B, anyway. strange behavior. Tom's behavior may seem normal at first. Behavior like going to a concert. Now I learned a lesson I won't soon forget. Or helping the elderly. But take a closer look at these activities. While the crowd is going wild, why isn't Tom cheering? Or smiling? Or even moving? 
Instead, he's just staring unblinkingly at SpongeBob, like uh, an unfeeling maniac. Maybe Helping the elderly seems like an admirable deed, right? <laughs> but why is he disguising his voice? All right, seniors, let's open these windows so the world can see your nice white clothes. Nice white clothes. Nice white clothes. And ironically... Still not convinced that Tom's up to something? Uh, well, then explain to us why he was caught attempting to escape from Inferno Island. Turn the ship around! Isn't that supposed a to be a maximum prop? security prison where Bikini Bottom sends its worst criminals. Who said that? The official reason he was sent to prison is unknown. But after conducting a background check, we learned that Tom may be more sinister than anyone imagined. Exhibit C, mm. suspicious activity. That's right, a close look at Tom shows us that he's performed some Sorry heinous acts in the past while working as a bartender. Here's your drink, sir. <laughs> he seriously. Tom was caught on camera actively sabotaging you know, SpongeBob's that's a pants. It, those muscle arms, like the one that he served on SpongeBob's hand, they're a ripoff. I mean, I mean, just look. I mean, I mean, personally, I buy a product. Like, I mean, sure, that it does half of what it. I think it was meant to do because, I mean, it gave him big muscles, yet it didn't make him any stronger. And it's filled with air. Air is pretty strong when you look at it. So how is SpongeBob exactly still weak enough not to be able to lift a drink? A drink, man. SpongeBob is must be a, must have been that weak, huh? Back what in the go. name of Neptune makes this drink so heavy? You may think that SpongeBob's simply too weak to lift a glass of juice. Well then, explain this or this. Or this. I just said that. Hold on, guys. I need to check something real quickly. Just uh. Okay, I was just wondering if uh, if I was still doing, if I was to. <laughs> My bad. Continuing. In fact, it's part of SpongeBob's job to lift drinks every day, yeah. and who puts a drink on top of somebody's hand anyway? Isn't it possible that Tom <laughs> deliberately made the drink so heavy? and purposefully set it on Spongebob's hand. Oh, man. And if you think that's bad... Oh, he's still smiling after he did that. Like, he knew that, the, that he was next. faking Tom it. Tom is believed to be a key instigator of the infamous Bubble Buddy witch hunt. During which he accused Bubble Buddy of crimes like arson. He burned our crop! Poisoning. He poisoned our water supply! And uh, biological warfare. Then delivered a plague onto our houses! Three claims that were each proven false. Keeping SpongeBob captive. Slandering Bubble Buddy's good name. He poisoned our water supply! And reading a pamphlet about evil. We may never know why Tom is so sinister, but one thing's for sure the man's oh, crazy wait. for chocolate. Chocolate! <laughs> Okay, that's creepy. Thanks. And now, a Bikini Bottom bonus mystery. Ooh, a bonus Everybody mystery. knows Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen. Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen. He was number one. Ah! But was Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen really number one? Then why does this grave say Smitty Werben Man Jensen instead of Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen? Could the uh. real number one actually be Smitty <laughs> Werben Man Jensen and not Smitty <laughs> Werben Jaegerman Jensen? Then who exactly is Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen? And what's his um, connection to Smitty Werben Man Jensen? File this one under S for Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen. Have you seen... Okay. Personally, that is just ridiculous. Because, I mean, out of everything, I mean, I mean, like, uh, that, I'm, I'm, there's no complaints about the name. It's just the name itself. It's mostly a tongue twister. Like, Smitty Werb and Yuggerman Jensen and Smitty Werb. Uh, yeah, I kind of lost my point. Back to the video something strange under the sea leave us a comment and tune in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores strip your scales and flip your fins like subscribe and remember if the pineapple fits live, live in it, it. yeah love all things spongebob like and comment below
let's go to the next video. And oh, come on, another hey, ad. Epic Crunch, not well, the same ad, barbecue. so back me up again, please. If out. this it's happens, go for 15 <laughs> seconds. You know you guys are going to have to pay for that. New goldfish, epic crunch. Crunch that packs a punch. After all of our investigations, you Ooh. may think Bikini Bottom is a suspicious place. Oh, but beneath the murky depths the finale, of this strange guys. underwater city, there's still one more video left. Or even murkier depths. This is Bikini, Bikini Bottom, Bottom Mysteries. Mystery. During the course of our investigations, we've made countless shocking revelations, but we believe we haven't even scratched the surface of this ocean full of secrets. Here are just huh? a few of the suspicious fish lurking in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> That's that chocolate guy from last episode. Exhibit A, Flats. We all Flats. know Flats the Flounder, an expert square dancer. We got square dancing. With a talent for chest hair calligraphy. But what does he have I against it. SpongeBob? I'm SpongeBob. From the very moment they met. I'm going to kick your butt. He's Flats made SpongeBob an enemy. Can't you see he's going to kick my butt? There's something wrong with ah. this picture. What if we told you that this isn't the first time these two met? In fact, they knew each other well enough that SpongeBob invited him to this Texas party. Yeah, so that's right. why the facade? I'm SpongeBob. Who exactly are they trying to fool? And could there be another reason for Platz's grudge against SpongeBob? A reason from even deeper in their past. Yeah, that. When they trapped every That's one of his right. friends and Long family in before this supposed first meeting, SpongeBob hid in Flats's bathroom and trapped him using a high-tech net launcher. Was this their true first meeting? Maybe the day SpongeBob decided to go fishing was the day Flats decided to hold a grudge. That's a good. That's but actually Flats a good motive. Flats is just the beginning. What? Exhibit B: This mysterious little girl, the daughter of Norma. Get in the car, kids. You've seen what? her around town, always acting innocent and sweet. Mommy, what is that thing? As if she has nothing to hide. <laughs> but tell us then, why does a child need to attend a driving class? Your um, but what's even in there? there? In this class, she actually looks older. Does she somehow age faster than the sea creatures around her? Is she a time traveler? Could this be a version of her from the future come uh, back to warn her younger self about something? That's actually this good. This raises more questions than it answers. Just like Exhibit C, Dr. Manowar. Who Dr. could forget Manowar. poor Dr. Manowar? Sounds like a guy who just won an award. stung by Big Lenny and live. Big Lenny? Huh. Um, I'm pretty sure th that... Th I think these guys should, like, make an episode all about this Big Lenny because... I personally never even seen what it actually looks like and stun and lived that means everyone else who got who got stunned by this thing died that's just crazy but hold your sympathy because even dr. Manowar seems to be hiding something doesn't what? he look familiar let's look back at one of our earlier investigations an investigation regarding the purple doctor fish and okay, what the same face the same voice and the same glasses are they the same fish um, you may have thought this, this case already. was already closed but take another look at dr ah, manowar like, is it possible like that guys. dr manowar is yet another disguise of dr gil gilliams just how many doctors do you need to be gil that's creepy Flats. I'm gonna kick your butt. A strange little girl. Mommy, what is that thing? And now a new lead in the case of the purple Dr. Fish. That's actually impressive. We may never know why Bikini Bottom holds this so many is shady fish. Insane. But one thing's for sure. There are plenty more where that came from. Bonus mystery. And now a Bikini Bottom bonus yes. mystery. Bikini Bottom has so many secrets that even the rocks are hiding something. Wait. What's a secret is about a rock? If these are just ordinary rocks, then how is SpongeBob uh, able to drive this rock? But not a license. Especially that's even when weirder. he doesn't have a license. Yeah, or even a exactly. steering wheel. Yeah. And again. that's not all. Remember Rocky? He's got nerves hey, didn't he win that The snail champion race? of the hundred and second running of the snails. Well, we've uh, uncovered startling new evidence that suggests that Rocky is not a 
Uh, hold up. Well, to be honest, I mean, Snelly and Gary were out of the race. And um, with Rocky, the only one still at the starting line. And he's the only one who's still in the race. I'm pretty sure that Rocky would have run one regardless, even if he had made it to the finish line. So, basically, this is just a... I mean, basically, they could have just had a shot of him at the starting line, considering Snelly and Gary are disqualified. Let's continue. Snail. Patrick, that's a rock. No, <laughs> he's not a snail at all. How does a rock win a race? Are the rocks in Bikini Bottom alive? Rock Buddy! File this one under W for... Wait, wait a, a minute. minute. What? Have you seen something strange under the sea? <coughs> Leave us a comment and tune in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores, strip your scales, and flip um, your fins. I heard this was like, the finale. How is this? And remember, if the pineapple fits, live in it. it. Sir, oh, there's still one yeah. left. Love all things. Uh, it looks like there's one left. I might as well, considering it is a bikini bottom mysteries fi finale. Let's see what it is. How in the world is Patrick lighting uh, a fire underwater? Does Bikini Bottom defy the laws of physics? Ooh. Is this all some form of weird aquatic voodoo? File this under H for... Huh? Think these are ordinary uh, glass helmets? Is this basically just all of the bonus mysteries? That's pretty interesting. Again. How is SpongeBob able to blow a bubble through solid glass? Stranger yet, how can Sandy reach this whistle to her mouth without removing yeah. her helmet? Yeah. And Patrick, even okay, uh, right since I've already reacted helmet. to most of these already, I really don't see the purpose. Under you for, uh, uh, this is I'm just gonna thing. say, hold up, I'm just gonna just like, every single thing that, every little, like, red explanation thingy, like, that appears on the screen, I'm literally just gonna repeat what it says. Let's go. You probably recognize his iconic pink shell with a red swirl and blue spots. But what's this? Gary, what are you doing here? A blue swirl and red spots? Explain yourself, Gary. Is this an imposter Gary? Or is the real Gary hiding something? File this one under W for, for what with the, the barnacles is going on. If Bikini Bottom's underwater and rain is it's also water, water, how can, can it, it be rain raining in, in bikini, bikini Bottom? That's not all. Clouds and thunder in the ocean. File this it's forecast right. under F, F for fishy. fishy. Everyone knows SpongeBob <laughs> is Squidward's <laughs> nice. next door neighbor. Do you have to knock Hey, didn't I already see it? this? But what's wrong with this picture? Where in the world is SpongeBob's house? Here, the Mate. pineapple's back. But where's Squidward's house? Let's see. Did someone push it somewhere else? Or do these houses have minds of their own? File well, this one under I. Or impossible. Goo Lagoon, the perfect place to swim, surf, or just lay on the beach. What a beautiful day. But. How can there even be a lagoon underwater? Maybe goo lagoons actually made of goo. Maybe it's some sort of strange magic. Or maybe, due to the dissolution of salt deposits, it has a much higher salinity than the surrounding seawater, causing it to have a greater density. You said it, pal. File this one under P. For, for pretty P. smart, huh? Mrs. Puff may seem innocent, but we have a statement on record that makes her one suspicious fish. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with a new name. No, not again. Did you catch that? Not again. Who are you really, Puff? And what's the deal with this picture on your wall? Is that a picture of this exact moment? I've got to end this thing before it begins. And here's another one. And in that picture is another picture. And another. And another. And, and another. another. File this one under P for, for puzzling. puzzling. A Krabby Patty is supposedly the most delicious sandwich under the sea. The only people who don't like a Krabby Patty have never tasted one. But if it's under the sea, how do they get tomatoes, onions, or lettuce? All foods that are usually found on dry land. With lettuce, cheese, onions, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and top bun together in that order. 
file this one under C for classified. Classified. Oh, and because it's under the C. Under the C. See what I did there? Because it's filed under C. You're not funny, man. <clears throat> yeah. Everybody knows Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen. Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen. He was number one. But was Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen really number one? Then why does this grave say Smitty Werben Man Jensen instead of Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen? Could the real number one actually be Smitty Werben Man Jensen and not Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen? Then who exactly is Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen? Don Twister. And That's what's all I'm his saying. connection to Smitty Werben Man Jensen? File this one under S for Smitty, Smitty Werben Jagerman, Jagerman Jensen. Jensen. Bikini Bottom has so many secrets that even the rocks, rocks are, are hiding, hiding something. something. It's a rock. Didn't I literally just watch this? If these are just scene? ordinary rocks, then how is SpongeBob able to drive this rock? Especially when he doesn't have a license or even a steering wheel. And that's not all. Remember Rocky? He's got nerves of steel. The champion of the 102nd running of the snails. Well, we've uncovered startling new evidence that suggests that Rocky is not a snail. Patrick, that's a rock. No, he's not a snail at all. How does a rock win a race? Are the rocks in Bikini Bottom alive? Rock <coughs> buddy! File this one under yeah. W for... Wait, wait a minute. minute. Love all things fun. Well, I guess that wraps it all up. I hope you guys enjoyed the Bikini Bottom mystery series. Because unless they make more, this is where it all comes to an end. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you all got you guys next time. So, bye.